What is your current relationship with the district attorney? Uh, just as outlined uh, earlier, we are great friends. We, we speak regularly. Um, you know, the conversation has changed, though, you know, whereas before we're, our conversations were about this case. Um, you could, I'm sure you could imagine and appreciate the amount of time that it takes that, you know, you have to pour into uh, a case uh, trying to, uh, a case of this magnitude trying to prosecute those defendants. But um, our conversations have shifted to um, how are you, how are you handling uh, the, the threats that are coming your way, are you being safe? Um, and, you know, democracy, w w the case will live on kind of thing. Just to clarify, when did the re romantic relationship between the two of you start? Yeah, so, y y you know, we get into, there's been this effort to, 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 to say that, okay, these, these exact dates are, 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 are at issue and these exact dates are, I'm getting, I'm getting signaled here. Everything okay? Yeah. Just to revisit the question, it was to clarify when the romantic relationship started and when it ended. Sure. So, you know, I believe that the, the public has, um, through, uh, through the testimony and other uh, interviews, the public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case. And I think that we should be focusing on uh, more of the facts and the indictment in the case. Well, I ask because obviously this is, it's still a pending matter. It's going to be before the Court of Appeals. And you talked about how proud you were of all the work that, that you did in this office. And I think the question that people have when they hear from the Court of Appeals, this isn't happening until next spring, is did the relationship jeopardize that work that you did in this investigation? And, and therein lies the issue, um, why we wouldn't touch upon the, the work of the Court of Appeals or some higher court because it's a pending issue before them. I think that we should allow them, take a, a step back and allow them to take the evidence that they have um, and, and do their work, make the decision. Right, but you did testify to this and you were asked about, on the stand about, when it started and when it ended, it just wasn't completely clear because before it said, before the indictment, which was August 15th here in Atlanta, and then later the answer was at the end of, of that year. And so I think that was the, the clarity that people were seeking of, of when it started and when it ended. Sure, and uh, there again, there's a, there's a question before the court, um, and that is the crux of the question. I, I don't choose to say or do anything that would jeopardize um, the case or the court's ruling. I prefer to allow them to make their decision based upon what they have um, and, and, and accept it. Do you believe, as you reflect on this, that your relationship with the district attorney was a mistake? Absolutely not, absolutely not. What I believe is this whole conversation is a distraction, that's all. It's a, it's a tool to, to stop the train, to slow down the inevitable, which is um, the trial of the defendants named in the election interference case. Do you believe the trial ultimately happens? Absolutely. Absolutely it happens. Mr. Wade, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.